Okay, if I hold it on this, a higher chance of this being the thumbnail. Or maybe even this. Or this. Or this. Or this. Okay, oh, oh, crap, got my headphone cord caught. Okay, there we go. Hi guys, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna try to make this one go to 30 minutes. I'm just gonna do this video, and if it messes up, it gets to 30 minutes, okay. If not, oh well. If it gets past 30 minutes, all right. Not really trying. This video is about Sophie. I can't remember how to say her last name, but so it's about Sophie. If you don't know who she is, and since I can't remember the last how to say the last name. I'm going to go to Google Translate. Hopefully she doesn't see this. I'm not good with names. Sophie Campbell. Campbell, okay. Camp Bell. Campbell. Sophie Campbell. There we go. Call me an idiot, but I'm not good with names. This video is about Sophie Campbell. And even though... She works for something official. She chooses to keep her comic as a fan-made thing only. But they have made a reference to her comic in one of the IDW comics. It was like a, a vision to a, a vision to the future that one of the characters had, and it showed the turtles having face paint instead of masks. A little tribute to her fan comic, Secrets of the Hoose. But that's exactly what we're here to talk about. Her work and her history with Team and T. And I would just want to know why did she stop doing her fan comic? She left it off at a cliffhanger. I might give a spoiler. A spoiler warning right here. But first we're going to go over the history. So before IDW got the rights to do the next Turtle comics. I guess it was kind of up in the air on who would get it next. Either Dark House or IDW. And Dark House, thinking they were going to get it, prepared. And they got her, getting her to do it for them. And she did the main four, Splinter, Shredder, Casey, and I think she may have did a few others. There's Donnie. Raph, stupid glare. Mikey, who has a black mask. I don't know if this is what he was going to wear in the comic or if she just do it here for fun and he was actually going to have red. I don't know. And here's Leo. And, and they didn't get the rights. Instead, IDW got it. So these designs and the whole comic series they're going to be in got scrapped. Also, here's Venus, but I'm not sure if she was going to be in the comic or if she drew this afterwards for funsies. And if she was going to be in the comic, I don't know if she'd be a fifth turtle or if she'd just be a one-off or maybe an occasional recur recurring character. I'm not sure. But that sucks that those designs didn't get confused. I mean, sure, they have the thick-ass legs towards the bottom, but some people don't like those kind of designs. Me personally, eh, I eh, never really thought about it before. I more or less focus on fingernails, toenails, or no fingernails, toenails, two toes, three toes. I focus on those details. Nostrils, no nostrils. I never really focused on, well, the legs being thicker towards the bottom. But yeah, that's the thing never thought about it until I seen a video someone discussing this same topic. It was the old turtle then. He discussed the comic that never that never happened. He said he doesn't like the whole thick legs toward the bottom thing. And I can see why. I I kinda like it when they're able to go into their shells, even though I think it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Considering their arms and legs are longer. But 
all right, it, turtles can do that. So I like that. I like and kind of not like. It doesn't matter. Point is, that's a thing that can happen. And, 20, and when 2012 did it, their bottom legs were thicker. So it makes less sense. Not only are they going into their shells with their gear on, uh, ouch, how does that not, how does that not, how does that not hurt? How is, how are you able to fit those big ass pads in you? And not only that, but your legs are thick towards the bottom. How do they fit? I, I prefer my legs, now that, I, now that I've really got it brought up to mine, and I think about it, I prefer normal skinny legs like, like kind of like how 2003's had, more human-esque. That makes more sense for when you're going into your shell. It makes more sense for why that would fit. And I don't know if this incarnation would have been one of those ones where it would go in your shell or not. Maybe partially go in your shell, like just your head, like the 1990s movies Turtles did. Or if it would have been like, you can't go in your shell. I'm not sure. I also don't know what species they are here, but more than likely red ears. More than likely. But you never know, maybe it'll, maybe it'll be a surprise. Yeah, that sucks that that comic didn't ever hit to become a thing. It would have been so dark and gruesome and edgy. Just like the Mirage comics. I'm not saying IDW. IDW has their moments. But I think, I think the Dark House, well, it's the Dark House in the name. I think the Dark House comics would have been darker. Just like how this video is right now because I'm only going into dark rooms. That light doesn't work. Hey, Turtles. How you doing? Well, I guess that's all, that's, I guess that's all there is to that. If it was gonna happen, it didn't. Oh, well. She, re she was really excited to do it, too, and kind of a disappointment when it didn't happen. But then later on, IDW got her to do some official cover art for them. So hey, at least she got to do something, Turtles. I don't know if she's still doing that to this day, or if she hasn't done it in a while, if they moved on to someone else. I don't know. But, she did her own, she did her own comic. If she couldn't make one official, then she would do her own online. Which, she has, turn on the light in here. There we go, much better. She has done her own comic. And she works for IDW. Can't she just work out a deal and get her comic to be official? Or did she choose to keep it a fan-made project? Clearly IDW likes it because they referenced it. I don't know. But yeah, that's this. It seems she likes the whole thick legs because this comic of hers also does the thick legs thing. I'm going to her DeviantArt here. Ah, huh. Secrets of the Ooze has its own group. Fan comic. Ah, uh, Pepperoni. See, it's Pepperoni from IDW. She got a lot of IDW characters in hers. Gallery. Characters. Alright, there's the actual comic. There's some random art. Characters. And what is this down here? Ah, there's... A prequel comic. Actually, no, that's something else. Oh no, this is the comics in Spanish. Okay, that's what those are. Prequel. Ah, there's the prequel comic made by someone else. And that's it. Now I'm just gonna go into the characters. Okay, there's Artemisia. This is the fifth turtle in this in the group in this incarnation. Artemisian. Thick legs. Okay, but here's Kino from Turtles 2, because it's slightly based off Turtles 2. Kino. Read that. Pause that and read it. If you'd like. Now let me just quickly go over. Here's Renette. 
Don't know how she was gonna fit in. Considering you're basing it off the second movie. Loosely, but still. Maybe you could find a way to fit her in, but this version of Renette is a lot different from other versions. Instead of having like a jumpsuit, she has like casual outfits. That's a little odd, but damn earrings though. Hot damn, how did they not rip your ears off? Oh, there's the time scepter, her helmet, a flower, and here's this about her. That's Renette. Casey Jones, oh yeah. Pulling an IDW in 2012. Oh, what? Why is there a huge glare? Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, now it's too dark. Okay, there we go. Casey Jones. Pulling a 2012 slash IDW with that mask. Doesn't have the traditional three lines over the mouth. Just weapons. Next drink beer. It's the whatever that is. Twenty five. Oh come on, stupid glare. Ugh. There. There's the info about Casey. Well, where that glare came from? It wasn't here in the last two pictures. I don't know what's different. Okay. Now it's Oroku Saki. This is a more realistic take on what would happen. Instead of just crawling back out with a few scratches. He's all fucked up. And there's his, there's his henchman. Instead of just Toka and Razar, he actually has two new ones to go along with it. There's, there's some mutagen, I think. Oh, it's ooze. One of the two. Some of that. Two blank squares. He has 36. Four, eight. Oh my god, he's short. Oh, it's because he's missing his legs. There's some bio about him. There's no cry in this, but his daughter from the Volume 3 comics is. Right there. We'll get there in a minute. Pepperoni! Oh, pepperoni's cute. I don't know if that's a real species of dinosaur. I don't think it is. I think it's a made up species. But it's still cute. Zoom in. That would probably help with getting the bio. She's he's two. Pepper for short. She's cute. That's Pepper for you. Leatherhead. Who's gonna Oh, he's an albino. That's cool. Wait, shouldn't he have a different icon? That's nah, yeah, screw it. Oh wait, let me look at the turtles. I don't think anyone's actually fully colored in in this world. Yeah, they're not green here. I just noticed that. They're not green. It's like a black and white world with a little bit of color. That's a unique style. I guess maybe he's not an albino. He's just not colored in fully. Yeah, Leatherhead. Knitting. Soup. Why is that one black? I don't know. Is that? He's alright. He's 14, well, that's interesting. Different age than what he's... Actually, he doesn't usually have a confirmed age, does he? Then here's Shredder's daughter. In volume three, she was much more revealing than this. Just look up that name and you'll see what I'm talking about. There's her weapon, her jacket, her favorite food, shoes, binoculars. She's 18, Hokusaki's daughter. Yeah. Now here's Toka. He's an alligator snapping turtle. So having five and three to four toes and five fingers like he did in the movie. More traditional. Three and two. Kinda like that. Tail. Ooh, I zoomed in. That face. You could fit a mask on that face. Actually, no, you probably couldn't. His weapon is, well, what Slash usually gets. He likes to draw. It's actually kind of cute. And the rest are blank. And there's his character bio. Come on, unblur. Uh, uh, there we go. Stupid Claire. 
This is 15 minutes, I better hurry up. Let's see, let's get through uh, as many characters as we can. How many are left? Okay, so there's just... There's just, just a few left, so we're almost done. Razar! Sorry, Razar, oops. Razar! Scared me, Jesus. My stepdad. Anyway, there's Razar, stupid glare. Come on. There we go. Spear, dog food, bone, tennis ball. It's four. He has one tall four year old. Come on, unblur. Oh, come on, there we go. There, there you go. That's the best I can get. That's him. And here's here's one new character. She's a bird, and okay, she has shredded gauntlets as a weapon. Look at them big bird feet. Oh god, jeez, rats and burgers? Alright. Pizza and donuts. Okay, that's her favorite food. She likes to eat, I guess. And there we go. Now we get on to the turtles, finally. Donatello. Who is age 16? That's strange, I thought he was 14. I guess I was wrong. I thought it was fortunate. This, uh, well, there's Donatello, his weapon, there he is. Face paint. There's goggles, some robot axe figures, a typewriter, broken ooze canister. 16, and he's 5 foot. And there's Donnie, there's his bio. Something interesting in this world. Raph is the shortest. Mikey is actually taller. That's surprising. Okay, Leo, 17. There is Leonardo. He has only one sword in this incarnation. Plus, his sword looks all that. It's homemade. Everything's homemade. Star Trek, the next generation. Don't you mean space heroes? Yeah, apparently he's a gardener. He's a reed and yeah, he's a gardener. That's interesting. He's four nine. And there's his character bio. Pause it and read that. Now his splinter. Now I don't know if that's just the natural color on his face or if he has face paint too. If so, then I guess he's a white. There we go. Here's Splinter. You'd think his walking stick would be under weapon, but I guess not. Also, that's a metal pipe walking stick. Interesting. Renaissance art book. Some a vase and a cup and a pat tray. Don't know what that is, but that's something. And don't know what that is, but that's something. He's only 39. Wow. Five. He's four or five. And there's his bio. Wrath. He is the shortest. Even though it makes more sense for Mikey to be the shortest, this world has Raph as the shortest. It's weird. He actually has two of his weapon, because one side just doesn't look right. There he is. Thick legs. Oh, that's some kinky stuff right there. Makes listen to that, reading those, lifting weights. 
He is also 17. Huh. I could have sworn he... Oh, I guess I have a false memory. But he's 4, 5. And here he is. There, there, there he is. Okay, so then we got April O'Neil, and she looks black here with that hairstyle, but it's the world's not colored in, so I don't know. I guess I can keep assuming she's white. So apparently she uses her van as a weapon. I think it's a drawing color, as we see in the comics and in the 90s movie and in 2012 and in 2003. Pretty much everything. She works for Channel 3 News. Here's a picture of her family. Oh, she had a white dad, a black mom. Oh, I see. So she's a mixed breed. That would explain it. And apparently she's a hoarder. 21. That's a, that's a new unique age for her. She's usually either 27 or 16. That's her usual age. That's a new age for her. She's 5'6". Wow. Artemisia. 5'4". The tallest turtle. She's female. She's 16, like Donnie. She's shy. Her weapon's a bow and arrow. Apparently she likes bees and bugs. She likes that. She likes that toy. She likes Snickers. Snickers has nice. And there's her bio. It's Artemis. Alapex. The... Sixth turtle, quote unquote turtle, in this world. Pretty fox. There's her name, her weapon, her items. <laughs> Smoker. And there we go, there's her bio. She's 15, oh, she's 13, Oops, my bad. 13, she's 4'10. She's even taller than Raph. Yeah. Close with Artie and Mikey. And here's Mikey himself. He's 4'8. Taller than freaking Raph. He has one pair of chucks here. There's Mikey. There's the Mikey. Likes to spray paint because he's an artist. He likes to write because he's, you know, he likes to write. He likes to cook and he likes to cross dress. He's 15. I could have sworn he was 13. Oh well. He's 15 and he's 5'8. And there we go. There's his bio. And that's all the characters. Bio picks, anyway. Now we just have X, these extra picks. And there's. There's. Alapex with pink mass paint instead of her gray that she has in this series. And in IDW, she has like blue purple. 